We're taking you live now to the Shadow Disabilities Minister, Mitch Fifield. He's speaking in Melbourne. They also bring with them the funds that they currently allocate to disability services in their states. It's very important that the Prime Minister views the Premiers as partners, uh, that she doesn't follow the example of her Treasurer, which is to attack the Premiers, for the reason that there can be no NDIS uh, without the agreement of the states. Now, the Prime Minister has talked a big game in relation to the NDIS, but she failed to deliver in the budget in May. Uh, at that time, uh, she uh, committed to $1 billion, uh, not the $3.9 billion that the Productivity Commission said was necessary uh, to kick off uh, an NDIS over the next four years. So I can understand why the Premiers are asking the Prime Minister uh, how she intends to fill that gap. Uh, given it's the Prime Minister who has deviated from the Productivity Commission timeline and the Productivity Commission funding profile, uh, it's incumbent upon her uh, to explain how she is going to make uh, an NDIS work. Uh, I do hope that uh, at the end of today uh, we don't see uh, merely a series of mates agreements with Labor states. Uh, it's my hope that at the end of today uh, we see a comprehensive series of national launch sites agreed to. But even uh, if we have that agreement, uh, which I hope is the case, it's important to recognise that that would just be the start of an NDIS. That agreement to launch sites doesn't constitute agreement to a full rollout of the National Disability Insurance Scheme. So assuming the best and that there is agreement today, uh, the Prime Minister will still have to explain uh, how she intends to fund a full rollout of the National Disability Insurance Scheme and whether she is committed to the Productivity Commission's target date of full implementation by 2018-19. But to date, she hasn't done either of those two things. She needs to. For the part of the Federal Opposition, uh, we think that an NDIS is so important uh, that it needs to be elevated beyond partisan politics, uh, which is why... Tony and we'll leave Senator Fifield there. We're going to take you now live to the Treasurer, Wayne Swan. Mr Fifield continues on Multiview. If you'd like to continue watching that, just press red. Here's the Treasurer, though.